Can you sing Soft Kitty? What's that? As if I don't do enough around here. But look, he signed it and everything. Do you realize what this means? Uh, Penny, that's where I sit. Um, come sit next to me. <laughs> no, that's where I sit there. What's the difference? What's the difference? <clears throat> well, in the winter, that seat is close enough to the radiator so as to remain warm, but not so close as to cause perspiration. In the summer, it is right in the path of a cross breeze created by opening windows there and there. It faces the television at an angle which is neither direct so as to discourage conversation, nor so wide as to cause a parallax distortion. I could go on, but I think I've made my point. I'm doing this. <sighs> no counterclockwise, so my chest hair doesn't match. Can you sing Soft Kitty? What's that? It's a song my mom used to sing to me when I was sick. I don't know it. Well, I'll teach you. Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. Keep rubbing. Happy kitty, sleepy kitty, purr, purr, purr. Now you. Soft kitty, warm kitty. Little ball of fur. Little ball of fur. Robert Oppenheimer was lonely. So you decided to get the rest of the Manhattan Project? Yes. This is Enrico Fermi, and Richard Feynman, Edward Teller, Otto Frisch, and Zazzles. Zazzles? Well, I was going to call him Herman von Helmholtz. But he's so sassy. Listen, Sheldon, we need to talk. About what? About cats. You're clearly upset about Amy leaving, and you're trying to replace her with a bunch of cats? A clowder. A what? A group of cats is called a clowder, or a glare. That's the sort of thing you ought to know, now that we have one. Oh, it's a napkin. Turn it over. To Sheldon. Live long and prosper. Ooh. Leonard Nimoy. Yeah, he came into the restaurant, so I had him sign that for you. Sorry, it's a little bit dirty. He wiped his face with it. I possess the DNA of Leonard Nimoy? Uh, yeah, I, I guess. But look, he signed it and everything. Do you realize what this means? All I need is a healthy ovum and I could grow my own Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> Sheldon, all I'm giving you is the napkin. Be right back! Sheldon! What did you do? Oh, I know. It's not enough, is it? Sheldon Cooper, and I'm Amy Farrah Fowler. But you have been taken in by unsupportable mathematics designed to prey on the gullible and the lonely. Additionally, I am being blackmailed with a hidden dirty sock. If that was slang, I'm unfamiliar. If it was literal, I share your aversion to soil closery. In any case, I'm only here because my mother decided that I should date at least once a year. Interesting. I have a similar agreement with my mother about church. I'm not opposed to the idea of a deity, but I'm baffled by the notion of one that takes attendance. Then you might want to avoid East Texas. Noted. Now before this goes any further, you should know that all forms of physical contact, including coitus, are off the table. May I buy you a drink? Tepid water, please.
a series of challenges to help you with your compulsive need for closure. I take offense at the word compulsive. All I'm saying is we live in a world where closure isn't always an op- Shun! Fine. For the sake of argument, let's say I do have a problem. How do you suggest we address it? I will recondition your brain so that the need for a closure isn't so overwhelming. By playing tic-tac-toe? Yep, your turn. Poe. And you wonder why people think that neuroscience is nothing but a goofy game for diaper babies. Tic-tac-toe can only end in win, loss, or draw. None of which did I need closure, especially since I'm about to win. didn't finish. Yes, and how do you feel? Oh, like any normal person would. I feel like I want to rip my face off and then tear it in half and then again and again until I have a handful of children face confetti. And that's exactly the kind of feelings you want to address with this course of treatment. Or you can pitch and grab a nostril and help me get this face off. Come on, Sheldon. You can do this. But you don't know what it's like to be completely frustrated. To, to have a Desire rise up within you and be denied every opportunity for release. Yeah. Uh, sounds like a real drag. You're up. Thank you. Amy, I have to apologize. That was an impressive achievement and I am proud of you. We both know that's your koala face. I told you! Look, he bought you this. Jewelry? Seriously, Sheldon? You are the most shallow, self-centered person I've ever met. If you really think I'll be taken in by another transparently manipulated... Oh! It's a tiara! I have a tiara! Put it on me, put it on me! You look beautiful. Of course I do! I'm a princess, and this is my tiara! Right, the tiara was too much. Oh, I, I'm Dr. Sheldon Cooper, and welcome to Sheldon Cooper Presents Fun with Flags. Over the next 52 weeks, you and I will be discovering the dynamic world of vexillology. Hang on, Dr. C. What's vexillology? Vexillology is the study of flags. Hey, I think I learned something. Did you have fun doing it? I'll say. The fun and information are two sides of this video podcast. Like the only two-sided state flag, Oregon. Well, hello, Mr. Beaver. Over the coming weeks, we will be answering burning questions, such as what is the only non-rectangular flag? What is the most common animal on flags? What is the second most common animal on flags? And more. Penny tells me that you're working as a waitress to put yourself through grad school. That's really great. What are you studying? Microbiology. Oh, well then, you can study me. I don't understand. Well, microbiology is the study of tiny living things. I know. I'm studying it. So I said you could study me because I'm a tiny living thing. It's a joke. Are you sure? Do you like science fiction? Not really. Uh, role-playing games? You mean like in the bedroom or Dungeons and Dragons? Either. No. It's going to be a long night. Yeah, and it's your fault. I had to ask. You didn't have to say yes. Do you like magic? Not really. Okay. A long, long night.
Don't you say nice things like that. What do you mean? Remember last week I asked you if you were wearing Spanx and you weren't. Well, What's the difference? You could try being a little more thoughtful like your friend Raj. Yeah, well, maybe I would like you to be a bit more like Raj. What do you mean? Well, yeah, like this morning he packed a lunch for me and there was a note inside that said, go get him. As if I don't do enough around here. And why do you need a note saying, go get him? You're a grown man. You should know well enough to go get him. I do know to go get him. It's just that sometimes it would be nice to get some emotional support when I'm going and getting him. Human Resources Department. Human Resources Department. Ah, Sheldon Cooper. Take a seat. Thank you. I called you here because your assistant, Alex Jensen, has lodged a complaint against you. So I've been told. But I don't see what she could have to complain about. I mean, she gets a front row seat as I'm making scientific history. And there's string cheese in my mini fridge, and that's for anyone. Oh, and just yesterday, I led her away from a life of sexual promiscuity by making her look at pictures of disease-ridden genitalia. Cancel my next appointment. This is gonna take a while. I think we have a lot more in common than you might think. Such as? Well, what kind of things do you like? Uh, let's see, I like harps, Little House on the Prairie, Renaissance poetry, Renaissance uh, How about poetry. some music? Sure, sounds great. Sheldon doesn't let us listen to music in the car. He doesn't want to be mistaken for a gang member. Well, just find anything you like. Mm, Beatles? Boring. Eminem? Scary. Weird Al, how old are you? Neil Diamond? Yeah, I, I love Neil Diamond. I love Neil Diamond. Sweet Caroline, ba 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 the times never swing so good. So good! So, today is the 15th, 16, 17, 18, 19. In four days, Morton and I will celebrate 10 years of marriage. We will probably celebrate by, what day is it today? Monday? Ah, calendar, come on, work with me here. Our anniversary is on the Friday, the 19th, so we'll probably celebrate by... Um, Going, to, driving to work, driving to daycare, dropping the kids off, going to work, coming home, eating dinner, and watching some cartoons in the evening after the kids are asleep. Or maybe Glow. That's a really good show if we start it early enough. Anyway, nobody cares. Why am I saying this? Um, so we had so much fun doing this competition thing, and I'd meant to share it sooner. I just never got around to it. And so when I was thinking, like, Oh, I want to do something like celebrating, celebrating us, celebrating 10 years of being together. And so when I found these clips on the computer, I was like, I can share these. This is fun. And then I started getting real excited about it because we seriously put a lot of work into these little one minute videos. It was, it was an effort, but we enjoyed it, like learning lines, performing again. It was like our covenant player days, and even though sometimes it was a little stressful and we were tired, we still just did it and really, really laughed a lot. <laughs> did you have a favorite? What did you think? And that's, oh, I also wanted to say this isn't even all of them. We made 21 different one minute long episodes, so <laughs> it was intense. We did not win the contest because we missed the deadline by a day. Oh, I was so crushed when I found out because <laughs> I really felt like we had a chance. I knew that th this is pretty good stuff. Um, oh, update on Rizzle. I have not uploaded in a few weeks. I just, I just needed to take a break from it. It was especially with moving and settling into a new place and it was getting kind of stressful doing daily videos after dinner. But, you know, for anybody who's interested, I have 2 million views on this app. 
I have 759 followers and I have sponsorships to $42.40. So, I don't know if how it's working, like if my sponsorships will go away because I'm not uploading at the moment. It still says it's there. Thanks for watching. Hugs and nostrils of death.